hey friends hello and welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to share it to you on how you can fix if valorant keeps crashing mid game so while playing valorant and this keeps on crashing mid game then let's go quick into the process on how we can fix that locate your valorant desktop icon make a right click select show more options click on properties now the valorant properties will be up click on the compatibility tab and here you'll find this option disable full screen optimization click on that run this program as an administrator click on that click on apply and then ok and we also need to check the vgc service so in the windows search bar type services click on it under the best match then simply scroll down to the v section as these are arranged in alphabetical order and look for the vgc this one make a right click select properties startup type make sure this is automatic service status if this is not running click on start if this is already running click on stop click on start to restart the service then click on apply and click on ok then bring up your task manager so right click at the start button select task manager now we are also going to close uh, some programs in the background which are unnecessary so like in my case the programs or applications which are necessary running in the background is the Brave Browser and the Google Chrome. And I'm not using this. So just simply make a right click, select end task. Right click, select end task. Now once done, then you have to click on the startup apps on the left pane. Change the status from enabled to disabled so that you will know what are the startup applications enabled on your windows and once you find that just simply make a right click select disable so you have to disable all the unnecessary startup applications on your windows so if you find that unnecessary then you have to simply disable that but do not disable those important startup apps for your windows to function now simply close this then we can also temporarily disable the antivirus so if you are using any third-party antivirus softwares like avast macafe or malwarebytes temporarily disable that because that might interrupt the application while you are playing on it so simply click on the show hidden icons on the taskbar and here you'll find malwarebytes make a right click select quit click on the windows security icon click on virus and threat protection under virus and threat protection settings you'll find manage settings click on that turn off the real-time protection and then uh, try to see if the problem has been fixed and if it has fixed the issue then just simply enable it again because this is a very important security for your windows we also need to make sure that the graphics card driver is updated so right click at the start button select device manager now here in the device manager window we need to locate the display adapters so this is where you can find your graphics card driver now you might have a different graphics card driver but the process is just the same make a right click select update driver and then search automatically for drivers now the best drivers for your device are already installed simply close this and close all the windows then we also need to make sure that the windows is updated so click on the start button go to settings in the list of options on the left pane you have to click on windows update and simply click this button right here so this will check for all the updates on your windows and once done just simply restart your windows and then launch the valorant game if it is working fine this time then we can also run the sfc scan to check for any integrity violations so in the windows search bar type cmd on the right pane click on run as administrator and here you need to type sfc space forward slash scan now it's sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter now this process will take some time this will start from one percent and this will go up to hundred percent so here's the thing do not close the window unless the process is done so you have to wait for this until it's completed and then just restart your windows afterwards and if the issue persists then we can reinstall the application so click on the start button go to settings in the list of options click on apps installed apps 
Look for Valorant right here. Once you find that, click on the three dots, select uninstall, and then uninstall once again. Now, once uninstalled, we need to reinstall it again. So simply bring up any of your favorite browser. Click on that. Then here, just simply type Valorant download, hit enter. And you'll find the first option from playvalorant.com en-us. Click on it. Then simply click this download button and the installer file will be downloaded. Let's just wait for that. Once done, then you just have to simply click on it and close the Edge browser. Click on Install, and this will reinstall the application into our Windows. So let's wait for this to launch. And now it is launching the game. So here you just need to simply sign in with your credentials and then continue in the enjoying the Valorant game. So that's it. I hope this video helped you. Kindly please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching.